Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. The Raspberry Pi 4 just came in. I know what we'll do. We won't do any of the stuff we were gonna do. We'll load our Dreamcast games in full speed on a Raspberry Pi 4. Full speed. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, no, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna load our Dreamcast games from HDD and check out this new solution and wanna do it right now. All right, let's get right to it. So what exactly did I buy? So on AliExpress, they were advertising a hard drive based Dreamcast. So actually you're buying this complete unit. Now, I didn't have any intentions of buying this. I didn't even know it existed, but my buddy, Wicked Gamer and Collector, uh, we were on the phone and he goes, hey, did you see this? And I hadn't seen it. And we were just talking about how we should save money. And of course he had to show me this. So now I spent money on this. So anyways, I'm kind of glad I did because it's super cool. And I didn't think it was gonna work, but it actually does. So what is it? It's a whole entire Dreamcast where if you open this up, you'll see what they did. They replaced the GD-ROM drive, which is right here. This is the GD-ROM drive. They replaced the GD-ROM drive with a hard drive. Let me move that out of the way really quick. And so what they did was they, re they replaced it and they put a bunch of the games preloaded on here and some custom firmware and a menu system uh, that will boot up when we turn this thing on and show you guys what's up. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and if you're looking for an alternative to this, the GDEMU has been around for a while. This is actually the clone one. My issue with this was that the memory card had capacity limits. Like you could only put, I think it was 32 gigs. So you'd have to kind of keep switching these out, which that kind of sucks. So I'm kind of excited that this might be a better long-term solution. So the one thing I will tell you when you do order this, please make sure that you order it and specify what power supply you want in it. Because if you don't specify, they might send you the wrong one. Um, your options are 110 and 220. If you're in North America, you're gonna wanna select the 110 one, obviously. So just keep that in mind. That's a little tidbit caveat for you. All right, well, let's waste no time and let's roll right into it, get this thing up on the, on the monitor right here and see, uh, see what this menu system looks like and everything. And I can't get the cover on, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's fire it up. All right, guys, I'm super excited to show you guys this. This is a pretty interesting and unique um, offering. I haven't seen this before, this kind of thing before. Obviously, we all know what the GDEMU is. I did a video on that. I'll actually put a link above. But this was kind of crazy. I've never seen a, you know, a bunch of games preloaded on a hard drive instead of like a memory card and have a menu system that's custom on a Dreamcast. This is something new. So it's kind of interesting and I wanted to show you guys. So when it first boots up, you get this sort of this thing called Dream Shell, which is sort of a custom front end that they put together. It's nothing, you know, crazy extravagant. It's just uh, little tiny images with box art. Uh, some of them are actually missing for whatever reason. Uh, but the games are all here in alphabetical order, which is nice, and you can't see it, but there's an arrow behind me, uh, and it's on the bottom right-hand side that actually, I'm having a hard time getting to it, so right there, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through, there's no like official games list posted, so I'm just gonna go through these really quick so you can get an idea of what's on here. There's a decent variety of games on here. You know, there's some, you know, ones that people are gonna obviously want, like Cannon Spike, Crazy Taxi, but I'll go through here, there's a bunch of really cool ones on here. Uh, you know, it's not everything, so, uh, that's something I'm gonna investigate over the weekend. I'm gonna take a look and see, is there a way to add games? Uh, the only way I would think you'd be able to add games is you'd probably have to take the um, that hard drive out and then hook it up to a computer and see if I can you know, make sense of what's on there. Lately, a lot of the stuff coming out of China, they encrypt the drives or they do something so you can't um, you know, add games. They may even have like a database file, like an actual database that they encrypt and it's got a password prote protection on it of some kind. And, you know, good luck hacking that. And so, so, I mean, some people can, I have a friend that's a database administrator. He might be able to give it, take a crack at it. So if it is that way, I'll at least show it to him and see if maybe he could, um, you know, make sense of it. But 
Anyway, so yeah, like games like Marvel vs. Capcom not being on here make me want to go and check that out and see if we can add the game. So this is basically what you're going to get outside of the box. That's all the games right there. So it's a decent variety. I'm actually going to play Virtua Tennis really quick. So I have it hooked up to the Elgato capture card. Um, the rest of the footage I'm going to show is actually me filming the TV, but it looks pretty good too. I just wanted to get some under the capture card so you can actually see the menu really good uh, in, a, in a better detail. So let's let's jump into a little bit of Virtua Tennis. 15, 30. Oh man, all right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So we're playing ping pong right now. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm totally biffing it. I, I, this happens. It's, I'm always under pressure when you're when you're recording something. I feel like, but I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna leave this. That's it. There you go. Dang it. Yeah. That's right. That's how Dad did it. That's, That's how, how America, America does it. it. And it's, it's worked out pretty well so far. All right, let's do some Power Stone. Oh, myself. I'm fighting myself. <laughs> I'm gonna get so confused with myself. Oh man. Sometimes you just gotta jump around. You're going down. Sorry. Oh, seriously? She's doing my jump move. She can't do that. She can't do that to me. My cheat move's on me. There we go. All right. Power Stone, good to go. All right, let's do it, guys. I mean, so far, guys, the gameplay's perfect. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing off about the gameplay at all. So that's good. If you're wondering how I have this connected, it is actually running VGA through OSSC right now. Uh, OSSC is something I'm actually going to be doing a review on shortly. I never wanted to buy the stupid things. It's expensive, but I did. Another thing I caved on that I didn't want to buy. So yeah. Anyways, let's uh, jump to a couple different games. I'll show you how to get back to the main menu real quick. So bear with me. Uh, on the controller, you're going to hold these four buttons, then you hold the start button. So it's actually the same. Oh, it didn't work that time. For some reason, it doesn't work every time. There we go. All right, we're going to do Ready to Rumble Boxing. Choose your boxer. All right, choose your boxer. You know, I'm always coming with the thunder. I'm coming with the Afro Thunder. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew this, but on a video, if you haven't seen it, I actually do my own impersonation of Michael Buffer, and I think it's pretty damn good. 
So I'm gonna put that in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ooh, let's get it rumble! All right, let's do it. From New York City. I'm just skipping through it. We're just gonna go right in, man. <laughs> I never believe in block in this game, by the way. Until I start getting like to the higher levels. I just don't block, I just don't care. I'm like, I don't care. I... Rumble! Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. This guy's sporting his his hipster mustache. He's sporting it before it was cool, though. He's sporting it when it wasn't cool. It was just it was just a hip, it was just a mustache. Now it's a hipster mustache. Oh 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 ah! Oh, I'm going for the body. Oh you. Uh-oh, I'm actually not doing so good. I better back up a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, Afro Thunder! Two, three, four, five, Stay down, okay. Six. You wanna, you wanna, oh, oh gosh, that wasn't good. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Bam! All right, that game plays good, guys. I think we're ready for final thoughts time. I think this thing is good. I mean, so far, so far, so good. We'll go back to the main menu, though. If it lets me. Okay. Go back to the main menu. All right, it should be going back to the main menu. No. See what I told you? It's like a little finicky with the main menu thing. I think I got it that time. All right, it is final thoughts time. So what did I think of this thing? It's pretty cool. It's definitely a unique Dreamcast product. I've never seen anything like this before. It takes kind of the GDEMU to a different level where you don't have to interchange the SD cards. However, it looks like you might be stuck with the games that are on it. I haven't taken the drive out to see if you can add games. I'm gonna do that over the weekend and I will let you guys know. Um, the only other issue was I had, it, I had a problem with the menu system where sometimes it wouldn't work and I had to power cycle uh, the machine. Not a huge deal, but you know, it doesn't function 100% like it's supposed to all the time. So just wanted to bring that, that up to you guys. The only other thing is um, the power supply. Make sure you specify 110 or 220 when you purchase it. You do not want them to ship you the wrong one. Going through a dispute with AliExpress is a total pain in the butt. I've done it before. And uh, if you can avoid it, then just make sure you specify the right power supply. Uh, the games played really well. There was no issues with any of the games, so whatever code, firmware they got running on it, it seems pretty decent. Now, granted, I didn't test all of them. I'm gonna do some extended testing again, and I'll have that as a follow-up video uh, as well with the uh, can you add games or not. So that's kind of it, guys. I hope, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I liked the product, so kind of interesting, and it's not a super break the bank kind of product, so if you're a big Dreamcast fan, this might be something you want to pick up. So if you liked the video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps, and I'd love to have you be a part of the family. We're building a really cool community. Please comment below. I want to hear what you guys think about this, because this is kind of crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. And make sure to hit notification bell so you can be informed of future videos. That's it for now, guys. We'll see you on the next one.